Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another daily scuttlebutt with Ivy's family factotum. Uh, I'm Anson. It's Wednesday, hump day. It's gonna actually turn out to be a fairly nice day. Well, it's a nice morning. I, I do think we're going to be getting up into like the mid to upper 90s, though. And I can already tell that it's kind of muggy, but still got work to do. Uh, I'm actually on my second thing of coffee this morning, which, not this, I just had a regular coffee cup, and then, if I was going outside, might as well make me another cup in my travel mug. Uh, so, hopefully everyone's having a good week. So, yesterday, oh, yesterday, is, oh, it was, it was a constant battle. I... Trying to get the pump um, wired in to the service pole. So, for one, like the, the wire that I bought, because I, I bought, it's a submersible wire. And I know that I, I wrote down notes of how I wired the pump. Can't find those. Because the, the color combination on the wire is different than what normal like electric you know color combinations are right because normally it's going to be a black white green or black white red green you know depending on if it's 115 or 220 and such and i don't know what's going by but you guys can probably hear that in the, the camera <clears throat> some big tractor or truck i don't know i'm not gonna be able to see it from where i'm at we can't see the road and they can't see us and i like that <laughs> um might be the grader, because I know the grader has been going up and down. But we've also had been having the power company go through, like, it's that, that machine with the big tires, and it just has a one single boom with a big old saw blade at the end of it. Um, it could be one of those, too, because they've been going around and cutting stuff, which, I mean, our, our power lines are fairly clean, so they should not need to do ours, but... We'll see if they come onto the property or not. Because um, it's probably who it is. Now, now I come to think of it. Because there's two of them on this road. And they they were almost getting to this point. So um, I'll, I'll go check it out once I'm done recording the video. But yeah, yesterday, trying to go through. So the, the wires that are on that submersible pump is like a red, blue, green. And it's just, it's three wires. And I know that the pump works off of either 115 or 220. And that you can wire it up either, either way, right? And I was trying to figure out exactly, because I, I know that it's, and it, it's three phase or two phase type. And I was trying to go through just to, to figure out which way I wired it. And looking, you know, at the switch to see which way I, I did everything, and I, I cannot remember off the top of my head. Plus, trying to remember um, where I put the book of where I wrote stuff down. <sighs> so, plus this service pole, the the box that I have on her, it has the meter built into the into the the box, right? And it's not separate like the other one. Well, the other service station that we have up there, or service pole, has the square D service panel. Well, this one is the Eaton. And for whatever reason, they have different breakers, right? Because you have different types of breakers. Um, some are rated for only indoor use. Some are rated for indoor-outdoor. Some are rated for only outdoor use. Uh, yes, I already knew this. And the, the breaker that I got, whenever I looked at it, I was like, well, it's an Eaton breaker. It should work in an Eaton box. It was a 30-amp breaker. And I brought it home. Didn't fit in a box. I'm like, well, dang. I was like, it looked, looking at it, this should have fit. And it did not. So, 
I go back to the store, I exchange it. I was like, okay, well, let me try this other one. And it was actually a universal. It, it wasn't um, a specific, it wasn't like a specific brand. It's like an off, an off brand, which I don't really like using, but it is rated for outdoor use. And I got that, did not fit into the box. I'm like, what the heck? So I ended up having to go back to the store for a third time. Uh, Cause for the first time, second time, I also forgot to get the stuff for the sewer. Uh, cause our back, cause we got two black tanks and two gray tanks. So for the back connection, I was short by a little over two feet. And I had, I still had some hose that, you know, you can put your own fittings into. But the thing is that the fittings that I had were both a female and a female. And I needed a female and a male. <laughs> To be able to extend the hoses so i was like well um i don't have that piece so i need to go buy that piece um plus i also wanted to put either a 45 or a 90 clear fitting right at the valves so whenever i'm opening the valves i can see you know the stuff going through and i can see whenever it's done draining that way i'm not having to come all the way over to you know the uh, dump station which actually is way over there <laughs> on the other side of the, the tent so yeah i was able to, to go back and and get those things and uh finally i had glass take a picture of the inside of this box that way i can look to see what type of break and it it takes a br so if you don't know the, the different types you know of, of the breakers um that they have but it's a br301 is the style of breaker that it uses. So I was finally able to get the correct breaker and and I haven't installed it yet. And just going through, cause for one, the, the receptacle, which I, yesterday I kept saying plug, 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 which is not the plug, it's the receptacle. I was not able to find. So whenever I wired this switch in, I just used what I had on hand which is a, a 30 amp um, receptacle, which has the four prongs on it. And normally, you know, that, that has a ground, a neutral, a hot, and a hot, okay? But the switch itself is not wired. It's only wired um, to my knowledge. I still got to double check everything and try to find that dang book. But I do believe that it's wired with a hot, hot, ground or a hot hot neutral and no ground um and i'm pretty sure that that's how it is so um i i'm gonna double check too because i'll say i still have the box for the the pump itself and it on, on that it does have you know the, the wiring of how that can go either two phase or three phase um and I remember how, you know, which one I did. So, but I don't remember the the configuration of the the wires themselves. So I'm I'm gonna get that checked out and get that going. We've still been using the generator for water. Um, it is doing what it, it do what it do, boo boo. It do what it do. <laughs> it still gives us the water, but obviously gas is expensive, right? Uh, I spent, you know, well, well over, you know, a hundred dollars just in, in gas and, and diesel yesterday. <sighs> That's also for the lawnmower. So lawnmower generator until I can get it uh, going. But yeah, it's, it is what it is. Um, need to get hot and heavy on doing this well house. And I'm trying to utilize some of the materials that we already have on hand. Because, uh, for one, we don't really have the funds to be going and getting the materials. So, we have the 4x6 beams that we're using the mom and dad's cabin. That's just been sitting over there. Well, I'm not going to be able to utilize those for the foundation beams. Because, just in the... Because the we've already had them for like three months now. And some of them are starting to go... Ring, 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 and... <laughs> and not be straight 
well, whenever you're doing that, you kind of want the, that stuff to be straight. And I think it'd be more beneficial anyway, instead of just doing the, the single beam like that, of doing more of a laminated beam. So I'll probably end up getting, you know, two by eights instead, um, and just doing something more of a laminate or even possibly a two by 10. Cause this, we have, cause how I had that designed, right? Is three rows of the, the beams that are underneath and they're only what eight feet apart roughly. So I can get away with a laminated. I mean, I could probably even put just a single two by eight down, but, um, I, I want to get those, you know, to be nice and strong laminate, at least a, a single, uh, or a, a double, you know, two by eight, have those, uh, going lengthways. And then the joist would be a two by eight going the, the other way. So, um, it'll all be good with that. All right. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to utilize some of those beams. I probably even have to resaw some of them into some other uh, dimensional type lumber. And it, I really wish I had my table saw back because I used to have a really, really nice um, jet table saw. But unfortunately, a lot of my woodworking stuff that I had throughout the years had all been sold off. Um, either one, the Navy wouldn't move it, or two, uh, just where the X and I were going to live, I didn't have a place to put it. So I ended up having to, to sell it, uh, either it be in military housing and or um, more of a like condo style living. So obviously I had to get rid of that stuff. Okay, yeah. Uh, one of these days I'll, I'll get another table saw. <laughs> Uh, I don't I don't have the location to put stuff like that right now but I'm just gonna be utilizing you know my skill saw because uh, I do have the little fence you know thing that you can put onto a skill saw it'll do just fine uh, even if I have to cut from both sides because the skill saw I have doesn't does not quite go four inches deep <laughs> close but not quite well I don't know it might it, the plug-in one not my I know the battery operated one would not cut through that. So um, I'll break out the, the big boy, but it's, it's not one of the big, you know, big, big saws that I would, would really love to have at some point. Um, like the worm drive ones. But all right, I'm, I need to get busy, y'all, before it starts getting too hot. So I'm going to go check out and see uh, if they're going to be cutting stuff on our property. And then I'm going to get busy because... Got a lot of stuff that needs to get done. So, last but not least, remember to always thank a veteran at every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.